Morning. It's a much different picture down here on Fort Street and West Grand Boulevard this morning compared to yesterday morning at this time where trucks were lining the road here. And now with the Ambassador Bridge still closed, nearly $100 million worth of automotive parts typically come across that bridge every single day as manufacturers need them the most. And now with the bridge closed, it's stopped. Silent and empty, the busiest international land border in the nation, closed for business in Detroit. Drivers like Harry Mines spent the night in their truck, stuck in the United States with no food, waiting for the bridge to reopen. He lives just 15 minutes away in Windsor. We are Canadians, we're supposed to go home, right? So that, that, that is also our right, to go home. Most truckers gave up waiting, driving nearly two hours to Port Huron to cross the Blue Water Bridge. That has led to more backups. The Ambassador Bridge is vital to the auto industry and for trade in general. According to the bridge company, nearly 8,000 trucks carry more than $323 million in goods across the bridge every single day. Much of that is auto parts, engines, and vehicles. It's a perfect combination when, it's, when, all, the, when all the cogs are working, but boy, when you get an interruption like that, it, it can be incredibly disruptive. Mike Wall is an auto expert with IHS Market. He says the longer the closure goes on, more stress is added to an already strained supply chain. If this were to kind of continue on for, uh, you know, for multiple days, you're going to start to see the impact kind of reverberate through the supply chain. Windsor police were able to open the bridge to U.S. bound traffic. Protesters continue to stop incoming traffic, but many drivers like mine say the Freedom Convoy protests aimed at the prime minister are only hurting them. We are the one who is suffering. Mr. Trudeau is sitting down in his home, having his food, coffee, everything. We are the one on stuck on the road, right? So this is this is terrible. Now, the bridge company hopes that there will be a resolution soon, but until then, the bridge will remain closed, and it's not, uh, there's no timeline as to when it will reopen.